this video, um, let's talk about the variance of a sampling distribution. So when we say variance of a population, variance of a population, population ha, hindi pa nung uh, sampling distribution. So variance of a population, it refers to uh, the dispersion uh, or the variability of the population. So kung gaano ka widespread yung data within the population. It can be computed using the formula um, sigma squared. This is the symbol for variance of uh, the population. Uh, that is equal to the summation, capital sigma. Summation of x squared, capital letter itong x minus the summation of x and then yung buong quantity yun ang square over capital N all over capital N. Yung capital N, it refers to the population size. Okay, population size. Actually, madali lang yan. Um, example, let's compute for the population variance of the scores 2, 4, 6, and 8. 2, 4, 6, and 8. Ilan lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, our population size is 4. So, our big N, that's the population size, is equal to 4. Right? So, as you can see in our um, formula here, that is being replaced. Yung big N is being replaced with 4 because that is our population size. Ilan lahat? Okay? Yung score. So, ang fat. We have here the following observations. We have 2, 4, 6, 8. These are actually our big X. Okay? Or the observations, the scores, the raw scores. Now, if we add all of these values, if we add all of that, but all, all of the, those values, then we have summation of x. Okay? Summation of x. Ibig sabihin ng summation, i-add mo lahat. Okay? So that would be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, and that would be 20. Okay? Now, if we take the square of x, so 2 squared, that's 2 times 2, that is 4. 4 squared, that is 4 times 4, that's 16. 6 squared, 36. 8 squared, 64. And i-add lahat itong values dito, that becomes your summation of x squared. Ito yan. Okay? That's the summation of x squared. And that would be 4 plus 16 plus 36 plus 64, and that is 120. Okay? So, etong summation of x naman gaga, ito yung dito na value. Itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Right? So, substituting those values, we have summation of x squared, that's 120, minus summation of x, that's 20, squared, over, for big N natin ay 4. Right? All over, big N is 4. So, Computing that, you, you can use your calculator to compute for this. Um, you can have 20 squared divided by 4, and then I minus mo yan sa 120, and then I divide mo sa 4, and you'll get 5. Okay? So, meaning, our variance, the variance of the population is 5. Okay? Population variance or variance of the population, the same lang yan. Now, let's have the variance of the sampling distribution. Yung kanina, that's the variance of the population. Ngayon, variance of the sampling distribution. So, this is now the variability of the sample means. It can be computed using the formula um, sigma sub uh, x bar squared. Okay, ito yung uh, notation natin for the variance of the sampling distribution. That is equal to the sigma of x bar squared minus the summation of x bar squared okay, over big N, all over big N. The variance of the sampling distribution of a sample mean is also equal to the quotient of the population variance and the sample size. Um, take note. Etong variance ng sampling distribution natin, variance ng sample means is actually um the the quotient when we say the quotient it divide okay it divide mo yung population variance sa sample size you have to memorize these two formulas ayan okay so 
if you do not know the the population variance then you can use this formula but if you know the population variance and the population the sample size small n okay sample size then it would be easier to compute for the variance of the sampling distribution using this formula okay example a set of scores has a population variance of 5 take note this is now the population variance yung 5 what is the variance of the sampling distribution if the sample size is 2? Okay? Yung small n natin ay 2. We have the population variance 5. So we have the variance of the sampling distribution is equal to um, the population variance over the sample size. Okay? Population variance is 5 over sample size is 2. Okay? 5 over 2 and that is 2.5. Meaning... The variance of the sampling distribution is 2.5. Let's take this example. A population consists of 5 values, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Lima sila, no? 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Compute for the variance of the sampling distribution. Okay? We're asked to find the sigma sub x bar squared. If the sample size, sample size, yung small n natin ay 2. Okay? If the sample size 2 is to be taken from the population. Okay, so here's what we are going to do. We have to compute for the variance of the population first. Compute for the variance of the population. So we have here the x value. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So summation of x, we have 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. That is 20. Now, we take the square of x. So, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, and so on. And then, we take the summation of these values. So, we have summation of x squared equals 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36, that is 90. Okay? So, substituting that to uh, the formula for the variance of the population, we have sigma squared equals summation of x squared. Ito yan, 90. By summation of x squared minus summation of x squared over big N all over big N. So again, please memorize this formula for the population variance. Okay? Substituting, we have summation of x squared is 90 minus summation of x natin ay 20. And we square that over yung big N natin ay 5. And all over, big N natin I find. So that would be 20 squared. That's 400 divided by 5. Tapos i-minus natin sa 90. And then i-divide natin sa 5. And the answer is 2. Okay? Meaning, the population variance is 2. Since we know now the population variance, we can solve for the variance of the sampling distribution by using this and dividing it uh, dividing it by the population size. Okay, bakit? We now have this formula. We are going to use this formula. Okay? Because we know that the population variance is 2 and the sample size is 2. So that is, the variance of the sampling distribution is equal to the population variance over the sample size. Okay? Substituting, that's 2 over 2, and that is equal to 1. Meaning, the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is 1. Let's take this, um, another example, continuation lang from the given example in number 1. Construct the sampling distribution of samples, of the samples of size 2, and compute for the variance of the sampling distribution. Ngayon naman, um, yung ginawa natin kanina, kinompute lang natin yung population variance. Okay? And then, uh, we took the um, the quotient of uh, the population variance and the sample size para makuha yung variance of the sampling distribution. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, co-construct, magko-construct tayo ng sampling distribution of the samples. So, paano yan? So, ito yung values from example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The population size is 5 kasi 5 sila. So, let's construct the sampling distribution. Let's uh, list 
all the possible samples of size 2 and their corresponding mean. So we have here sample size 2. So we have 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. So that's 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. And then yung 3 naman, yung 3, 2, hindi nakasama ha? Kasi yung 3, 2, kung ipair mo yung 3 at saka 2, meron na tayong 2, 3. So they're the same. Okay, magkabaliktad lang. Alright? So hindi nakasama yon. So instead na 3, 2, diretso tayo sa 3, 4. So we have 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. Okay? Next, we have 4. Ngayon naman, yung 4, 2 is just the same with 2, 4. And 4, 3 is just the same with 3, 4. Okay? So diretso tayo sa 4, 5. So 4, 5, 4, 6. And then we have 5, 6. Now we take the means of these samples. No? So we have 2 plus 3, that's 5, divided by 2. We have 2.5. Eto class ha, 2 plus 3 divide sa 2. Bakit, bakit 2 ito dito? Kasi dalawa sila. Okay? Dalawa sila. Yung 2 and 4 naman, so that is 2 plus 4 divide sa 2. Okay? That is 3. Yung 2 and 5, 2 plus 5, 7, divide sa 2 and that is 3.5 and so on. Hanggang sa 5 and 6. So 5 plus 6, that's 11. 11 over 2, that is 5.5. Okay? And so, construct tayo ng sampling distribution of the sample mean. We have here the means. Okay. Ika-count natin from here, ika-count natin kung ilan, ilang beses nag-occur yung mga means. Halimbawa, ang 2.5, isang beses lang siyang nag-occur, di ba? Ang, ang 3.0, wala namang 3.0, so isang beses lang din. Ang 3.5, may dalawang 3.5. So, 1 at saka 2. Okay, so dalawang beses. Yung 4.0, dalawang beses din. Okay, kasi ito na yung isa. Yung 4.5, dalawang beses din siya. Ito yun. Yung 5, isang beses lang. And 5.5, isang beses lang din. So, we take this as the frequencies. Okay, kukopyahin lang natin itong mga means. Okay, pero hindi na natin kukopyahin yung mga nag-duplicate. Nag Isang beses lang natin um, isusulat yung mga nag-duplicate. Okay, pero yung frequency nila is 2. Right, so we, uh, that becomes this one. So 2.5 frequency is 1, 3.0 frequency is 1, 3.5 frequency is 2. 4.02, 2, 4.52, 5.01, 5.51, 5 right? And uh, if we add all of this, that is equal to 10, okay? The summation lahat ng uh, sample means, that's 10, okay? Now, we take the probability, that's P of X bar. X bar ito, ha? X bar yan. X bar din itong mean, sample mean. So, probability of X bar, that would be? Um, 1 over 10. 1 over 10 then 2 over 10. Pwede itong i-fraction, ha? Actually, pwede i-fraction yan. But that, that's just the same with the fractions. So, eto naman, pag isum up mo ito, okay, uh, you take the summation of the mean, sample mean. So, that summation of x bar equals 28. So, First, why why are we constructing this sample distribution? Bakit kailangang i-construct your sampling distribution when we compute for the variance of the sampling for the variance of the sampling distribution? Kasi um, last time nung number 1, um, gumamit tayo ng population variance. Ngayon naman, hindi tayo gagamit ang population variance, so gagamitin natin yung uh, formula ng variance of the sampling distribution wherein etong gagamitin natin yung uh, sigma sub x bar squared equals yung summation of x squared x bar squared minus uh, the summation of x bar squared over big N all over N. So ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. So that's why we need to uh, to have the summation of x bar squared and the summation of x bar. Ito yun, summation of x bar. So, we need to compute for this. So, we are going to add another column for our table. Okay. So, this would be the x bar squared. x bar yan. So, x bar squared. 
So, the x bar squared, uh, simple lang, no? Yung x bar, yung x bar is square lang natin. So, that uh, that becomes 2.5 squared. So, uh, 2.5 times 2.5. Okay? Or you can use the square function in your calculator. Okay? So, 2.5 times 2.5, that's 6.25. 3 squared is 9. 3.5 squared is 12.25 and so on. And then you add all of these values. 6.25 plus 9 plus 12.5 hanggang plus 30.25. That will give you 119, 119. So that is the summation of x bar squared. Okay? And using the formula for the variance of the sampling distribution, the sigma sub x bar squared, we have this, no? Yung sinulat ko kanina. And then we substitute the values. So summation of x bar squared is 119. So that's 119 minus. The summation of x bar is 28. So we have 28 squared. And then big N natin is uh, 7. Bakit 7 yung big N? Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? 7 ka sample means. All right? All over 7. Um, take note yung big N natin dito. Hindi na tayo gagamit ng original na big, na, na big N. Ha? Okay? Kasi we are computing for the variance of the sampling distribution. Sample means na tayo. So we have 7 sample means here. Okay? And that is equal to 1. Thus, the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is 1. Uh, take note lang natin itong uh, mga formula natin. The variance of a population, we have this population, ha? Population. So, we have sigma squared. Ito, walang bar, bar yan. Okay? And then, the variance of the sampling distribution, yung variability ng sample means, we have the sigma sub x bar squared. Okay? Ito pa, almost the same, no? Almost the same. Kaya lang, ito yung raw scores. Ito naman, yung sample means. 